I am back again, folks, to share with you my uh, guest design team project for October. I had hauled before and shown you the mini album I created out of the Sun um, Snow Kissed collection from Heartfelt Creations, which came from Tamra at Countrycraft Creations. And um, it really was difficult just to do a mini album because you don't want to cut into the beautiful paper, it, you know, so on and so forth. It was just not enough paper. To do what I really wanted to do, I would have wanted two pads. So instead, I improvised, and I was able to use quite a bit, quite a bit of it to make way more projects than I ever anticipated. So not only did I do a mini album, I created quite a few other things. And I still have just enough left to do one more project that I will share with you at another time. So let's get into just the cards that I made. She had also gifted me these Petaloo beautiful flowers that I used the pearlescent bow bunny on to, which I will show you, which you can get from her store. And it is a lot of fun to use this. At first I was hesitant because I, you know, I use a lot of pearl glimmer mists for life me. I can't find where I put it. Um, it's the bow bunny pearlescent. It's really beautiful and it does this beautiful glow. And so what I did was I did it on the flowers and I just thought it was beautiful. This actually had music notes on it, but I really wanted to make it into a card. So I just cut out a piece here and I just, you know, I had a, I have a lot of these left over. So I just thought it'd be beautiful to border on the inside of the card. I liked how I was able to use the flowers. So this was really pretty. And I have a, a few flowers left, so I might just be making some more fun stuff. And this actually came out of the fern um, chipboard pieces that I had. It was actually inside of a mug, but it came out just the perfect snowflake, so I used that too. So it's really cute. And then I created this card right here, just very basic, and it was with that beautiful seam binding um, that was just so pretty with the, with the browns and the greens, and I just loved it. So, of course, it's just plain on the inside, but isn't that beautiful? Just love this paper. And then I went ahead and I, oh, and then she had gifted me an embossing folder. And um, I had this snowflake, but I didn't, these also came out of some of the chipboard pieces she sent me. So I embossed it in that beautiful burgundy paper from Cartabella. And then I took that Bow Bunny Pearlescence. Oh, here it is. I found it. This Bow Bunny Pearlescence and just went over it. And then found little, just little sequins that I just kind of attached here and there just to give it more sparkle. But isn't that beautiful? And I did not have this embossing folder, nor have I seen it. And it was full size A2. It was just beautiful. So I made that one. And then I made this shaker card. <laughs> and of course, I used again my poinsettias and the pine cones that I love to make with the pine sprays out of, you know, the. And I used that Poe Bunny stuff for the centers of these flowers. And to accent, they're just beautiful. The spray, I just spray and take my paintbrush. And it almost acts like a wink of Stella. It's just beautiful. So I just accented it here, you know, just a little bit of shimmer here and there. Made it into a shaker. Used the beautiful lace she gifted. And cut out Merry or Christmas Blessings here. And then, of course, I made it into an easel shaker. Is that not gorgeous, folks? I'm going to make quite a few more of these with my stash. But I wanted to showcase a lot of the other elements that were gifted. So... I have enough left over to do quite a bit of these, so I'm going to definitely do those. I sat and cut out all weekend and built these pine cones and, and poinsettias. They were just so beautiful. So there's the card version. Now the next version is a little tricky because I've never made one. My sister and my cousin pulled out this book and said, hey, maybe you could make one of these. And I said, oh my gosh, what a great idea for my design team. Sure. And I've never seen one, and apparently they've been done a gazillion times. I just have never seen one, so maybe I bring it back. I don't know. Lancelot, be good boy. <laughs> so here it is. It says Winter Wonderland, and I used some of that seam binding for the closure. Of course, those poinsettias, and then I made it a little glimmery. It's just so pretty. And then there's the back. And what this is is a, called a squash book, and... I think May May made it, has done them. As soon as I made this, I, I kind of went, well, I YouTubed it and found that May May actually did one too. Um, I, I wouldn't know how to do a tutorial on it, but it was a lot of fun. So you open it up and it flips open like this. And it's double-sided. I did double-side this. So I'll just go with you this direction so you can kind of see what I did. So... Instead of covering every sheet of paper, I just made a few accent pieces and left these plain so whoever this is gifted to can 
um, use these for embellishing or for photos. But the, the full six by six panels, I went ahead and used the cutouts and used photo corners to pop those into place so they can be removable. So you could put a photo there if you wished. And then to double that up, I went ahead and also created a, a secondary one. So maybe you have a larger photo and it gives you photo size options. So you can either use the big photo mat or the little photo mat. And that way you don't have to be limited to the size of photos you use. And they're both matted and I just thought it was really beautiful. So again, the scenes, and of course I did more of those. And so all the six by six ones are like that. So they're double matted. And then of course this piece right here, it's really difficult to show you this because I did a full um, three pieces of 12 by 12 on that. Look at that beautiful image. That just beautiful. And the center one. And of course the snowman, I did nothing to him because he's beautiful. And then again the back piece. And then when you flip it over, you can at least see the cover. I will slide it in this direction. Same thing, I didn't do anything to this, so it, all the photos are actually facing this way, so I guess I should have showed it the other direction. So here's the side. I just loved these papers. It was perfect to border. I was like, you know, this is perfect. And again, with another one of those full sheets, I just did not want to cover because I just loved the paper. And again, here, just beautiful, beautiful. This is actually meant to be in here, so it must have fallen out and slid across my little paper there out of the little photo corners. <laughs> Let me move the ribbon out of the way. So again, over here, and I use that poinsettia. And then down here, I just use a little cupboard piece that says winter, or warm winter wishes. And then again, with another one of these that matches the opposite side. Now, I'm gonna flip it back over to where it was the first time. And then I'm gonna show you how this works, if you've not already known. Hi, Lancy, come on, let's, let's just move you. Come on, scoot your butt. Thank you, little one. Okay, so how it works is it's like this, and then you take your two pieces and it just folds in, I guess. Well, it's not that easy, but it is, there we go. So it just folds in like this, and then it closes, and then you tie your ribbon closure. Is that not beautiful? So I really love these, and I really, in my head, I'm like, maybe I could make it to where there's magnets, and I can do like display boards. So it sits up like this, you know, and you can see full-size photos, and or you can move it, I don't know. I, in my head I'm thinking, I could do quite a bit of fun things with this, with magnets, and make it like one of those cootie cutter things. I think that's what they're called. <laughs> or those fortune things where you flip them and they say things, I don't know, I thought it'd be fun. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, link below to Country Craft Creations, everything I used in this book, uh, everything, everything I used in this book came from her store. Uh, besides the die cuts I used to create this and the brown paper. Everything else came from her store. So please go check out Country Craft Creations. Um, I'm really having a fun time creating for her in the store. This, this paper is just beautiful. So thank you so much, Tamara from Country Craft Creations. And thank you folks for watching. And I hope you had a wonderful weekend.